Good morning, YouTube. Um, it's actually not morning. It's afternoon. I, uh, well, let me check. Where's my phone? Buddy, 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 buddy. Where are you going? Bella. You want to say hi to the viewers? Bella. Sophie, well. Oh, good girl. All right. It is noon exactly. Um. So far today, I haven't done much. I uh, slept till about 11. I was up editing videos until about 3 a.m. I want to say. Um, now this morning, I had a little different breakfast. Let me tell you, normally I have protein pancakes, but um, I did one that I used to do when I was quick on the go. One to help boost your fat burning right away in the morning. I had grass-fed all-natural butter and coconut oil blended up with cinnamon in my coffee. I'm still drinking that right now. Get the juices flowing a little bit. Um, I'll probably just go straight to lunch then uh, for my next meal, which I'll just do um, probably a turkey patty and some vegetables. Um, I'm probably going to have to have another quest bar today because uh, from there on out, I have a softball game tonight at 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. It's in Burnsville. I live in Coon Rapids. That means that I could get stuck in traffic, so I'm going to head out there early. Um, I haven't touched my gallon of water yet today. I haven't took my supplements. i got to take those. Yeah, you guys, um, it's weird. I'm unemployed and getting used to staying up super late. Therefore, I'm not as motivated in the morning. I still need to get my workout in. I'm going to do chest today. So... I'm thinking about using my app that I have on my phone, the Rock Clock app, where the, wa the Rock Dwayne Johnson will wake you up in the morning with some of his cool little ringtones. There's no snooze button. And then, you know, once every now and then, probably about three to four times a week, he puts like a nice motivational video up there. Uh, it's free to download, guys. Check out the Rock Clock. And, uh,. And I just found out my softball team is batting me number 10. Son of a bitch. You guys, my leg's actually feeling all right today. Um, I used the edge of a chair to massage my calf a little bit. I may do some of that again today. Just to make sure I keep massaging through it and stretching my calf because that's been my main problem. Um, if it feels good and I can remember, I'm going to try to get to that wrestling camp tomorrow. I know I can't do much, but just getting in the ring, I mean, it just makes me feel at home and makes me feel normal again. Um, I don't think you guys understand, with a serious injury like this, and I fluctuate with activity levels and everything, but I'm one that's used to being competitive, used to being an asshole in the ring, um, used to being able to go jogging if I wanted to, or play softball, or play baseball, or even walking. I couldn't do for a while. So you take a lot of those away from me for a long period of time and it brought anxiety and depression. So any time that I can get back to those little things is wonderful for me. But what I don't want to do is push it too much to where my knee and calf and leg are not going to be ready by the time I get back in the ring in August. Um, let's... Uh, Let's see how it feels, and I'll bring you guys with me, obviously, if I go to this camp. Um, and if not, there's always next week or the week after. We can't push ourselves. We just have to make sure that I'm still putting out informational and entertaining footage for you guys. I want to make sure my videos are still entertaining and informational, and... I feel like I keep doing the same things, you know, softball, working out. I mean, if that's motivating you, great. Um, I'll try to talk about nutrition and about my mindset with everything. But you guys, comment down below. Let me know. What do you want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? I may try to get some fun videos in the middle of this too. Like maybe do some challenge videos or um, any ideas you have. And also check out my previous content, guys. I have the condom challenge. I have... The tin cup challenge. I ate balut. If you don't know what balut is, check it out. It's freaking, it looks disgusting. Um, but 
I try to make fun videos for you guys. This series is about me getting back in the ring and getting back into shape. And I thought that could help motivate some people and also help motivate myself. So if you guys watched last night, you guys got me through my 10,000 steps. That's big because that was a goal I set for myself. And if I wouldn't have achieved that, imagine... If I wouldn't achieve that, imagine how I would have felt today. But I have a long way to go for my 10,000 steps today. A long way to go for my gallon of water. I know I'm not going to eat out. And I have to do cardio and lift. So let's go. So I'm getting out here to run some errands. And it looks nice out now. But the forecast doesn't look good for tonight. Which could affect my steps goal. Because I am only at like 300 steps right now. And that's... I'd be lucky to be at 300 steps actually because I've just been inside my apartment the whole time. And um, yeah, if softball gets rained out, I'll have more time, but where the hell am I gonna get my steps in? Because it only counts it when I'm like moving, not stepping in place. So we might be walking in the rain tonight. Just got done running some quick errands. Um, I went grocery shopping. Which, I mean, I didn't get too much, but let me see here how many steps I'm at. 13.44, that's not too bad. Um, so, I'm just banking on that it's going to rain tonight, and then I won't have softball. So, I'm going to save my workouts for after softball, um, because I want to make something different than just a turkey patty today. So, I went grocery shopping. I got this for another time. Let's make some kebabs in my oven here. But... Today I'm going to make somewhat of a stir fry. So I have, I have right here some fresh cut vegetables, uh, red, green, and orange peppers, yellow peppers with onions. Um, those are all sweet peppers, so I got a jalapeno pepper to, to chop up with it. I also have some mushrooms to throw in there. I got the already pre-cut ones because I can't be bothered to cut them myself. I'm actually going to use a chicken breast. I'm going to combine all these things together, fry them up, and then um, kind of simmer them in light organic coconut milk. Now this only has one gram of sugar per serving and one car per serving, and there's five servings. So we're going to use five servings of this. Five grams of sugar is not bad. I'm almost getting five grams of protein, but I doubt it. I think they just put that in there to make us feel better. Uh, with that... We'll throw in some garlic for taste. Uh, again, I can't be bothered to chop it myself, so I got that. And then also some green curry paste. It's kind of just a little makeshift stir fry that I'm going to do myself. I will show you guys the finished product. Now, I probably should have used a bigger pan, but that one's for my protein pancakes, and I can't be bothered to have my protein pancakes taste like garlic in the morning. Um, sometimes if you, you have to wash it thoroughly just to get the garlic out and also I should probably use two chicken breasts but but I only have one chicken breast thought out so too much veggies never hurt anybody I'm going to saute these up a little bit in here then I'll chop up my chicken breast put it in there um, when the chicken breast starts to get done then I will put in the sauce and just kind of saute all of that in there together it's starting to look good now it's time to add in the sauces. Put in as much as you want if you're making this. I like curry and garlic. That might be too much, but you know what? When, uh, let's see, uh, there you go. There we go. Perfect. I'm not afraid of flavor. Light coconut milk. Uh, yeah, I'll reduce it down enough, I think might be like soup but whatever let's make sure we get all five servings in there now believe it or not with all these same ingredients you can actually put in all natural peanut butter as well and it makes a really tasty spicy dish um, I didn't put anything too spicy in it besides a jalapeno but uh, let's put a cover on this and get it simmering here's the final product guys I would have liked to Reduce the sauce down a little bit more, but I'm running short on time because with softball being 45 minutes away and rush hour traffic coming soon, 
I need to finish this and then get on the road so I'm not on the road for two hours. All right, I literally just walked in from softball. Well, from coming back from softball. I went to the casino afterwards and tried to get some steps in there. Um, gambling, good. Steps, not so good. I still only have about 5,000 steps right now. It is currently 10, 16 at night and it is raining outside. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to walk to the grocery store, buy what I'm going to eat for dinner, bring it back here, then walk to the gym, and whatever steps I have left, I'm going to do those in miles. And as you see right here, I looked it up. Now this is just approximate, which so is what my phone is figuring out, just approximate steps per mile. I am five foot five. So 2,360 steps in a mile for me. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go just under two miles. So with that being said, my water for the day is done. I did my t gallon of water. Um, now I just need to get my workout in and my 40 minutes of cardio, 30 to 40 minutes. I'm probably gonna go more of the 30 minute range on the elliptical and then finish up my steps. So. Yeah, we got about two hours to do it. Let's go. You guys already dealt with all the excitement last night with my steps, so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Right? See them tomorrow? We'll see you tomorrow.